everyone uh, welcome to my channel and this is madhushri in this video today we are going to explore about power bi and as you all know that power bi is an emerging field and so many people are rushing towards the power bi uh, so it becomes a basic necessity to uh, know about the power bi it's not that much difficult and uh, no prayer knowledge or experience required in order to learn power bi and work with it uh, it is a simple tool uh, wherein we can prepare a uh, dashboards uh, reports uh, in the single page uh, so for example uh, if you want to know about uh, details of any uh, college database if i take a college database as an example and if i want to know uh, how many students have been admitted to this college and uh, how many have paid the fees or not paid the fees how many are writing the exams then what about the results that statistics that we are getting every year then i may have to refer three or four files in order to get those details so in case if i upload those files into power bi and if i prepare a dashboard then within a single page i can view how many students have admitted everything within a short period of time so what power bi is uh, nothing but displaying the data whatever we have gathered in terms of any kind of visual like graph or chart we call it power bi and using that software uh, we are able to do that and a uh, few versions of power bi is also there and apart from power bi we have other tools uh, we are going to discuss it in the future uh, after discussing the power bi and uh, before starting with power bi there are you need to know what are the versions or what are the main elements of power bi we have desktop versions uh, bi service version and mobile app so you can use desktop or service or mobile app depending on the requirement so before downloading the power bi uh, first thing what you have to do is you should sign up with a, a free trial using a microsoft account Uh, without microsoft account you are not able to download it yeah. so in case if you don't have microsoft account you can create a temporary account and then uh, using that account we can download this power bi and anyhow it is a uh, open source you can download it after uh, verifying the account you can download it from the net so since it is a free application you can gather all the data and you can do visualization so when you open power bi uh, the first thing you get is this page and whatever it is marked here it we call this as a ribbon that displays common things that we do while preparing the reports or visualization so here we are able to see a option called as get data wherein uh, the data that you will get and that data we will load and we will use as for visualization so later you can Uh, do that it's just we'll understand this so next second one is a report view or we call it as a canvas where we create all sorts of visualizations arranged it in one particular manner and we here we have three types one is a report view uh, report view it uh, gives you the report of that particular data whatever we have gathered and data view uh, will be always in the form of a table and model view is for connecting your database querying with the pages and all those things and next we have a three here uh, this is uh, a number of pages that you could add for your application that may that means in case if i want to prepare two or three dashboards together uh, if the page one is not sufficient i can keep on adding n number of pages for this the, and this we call it as a uh, page tag okay next fourth one is visualization so where you can change uh, your visuals like here different charts are given like line chart column chart donut scatter plot gauze everything is there so whichever uh, chart is visible you can select that and start using that and you can also use it as a filters for the visualize and this we call it as a visualization pan and the last one is a field pan so this is five where uh, the querying elements filters can be dragged on to the report viewer so you can drag uh, the fields that are there i'll show you how to do that uh, so it can drag and drop here so that things gets appears on this so these are the basic uh, things that you need to know on this then what are the data sources that you can connect you can connect excel uh, 
or SQL, anything. So these are the data. When you click on uh, get data, these are the things that you get. So whichever is feasible according to your requirements, you can uh, just select that and use it. So when you click on that, this is the thing that I'll get. So I have, right now we have selected Excel because it is easy. So that Excel, when you select, you will get a data set here. After that, using this pan, we can start dragging and dropping the things and you can uh, visualize the things like this. So this particular thing is called as a dashboard. As on the data changes uh, here uh, on the dashboard also, the visuals also changes. So practically, let us do few uh, tasks so that you can easily understand it. So open Power BI that is already installed in your system. So after opening, select a blank report. Uh, right now, uh, see, you can go for get data or uh, here it shows the import data from Excel. Since we have Excel file, I'll just import the data. I have so many data sets. I'll select one data set, click on open. The data has been displayed on towards the left side. Select that. After selecting, click on load. The data gets loaded. So here you can uh, see what are the data that has been loaded. The fields are seen here. Whichever fields we want, you can just select it. Before selecting it, uh, we will check which chart we want to I mean, uh, select for this. For example, I want a bar chart now. I will just select on the cluster column chart. Column chart appears on the screen. Now I want the uh, number of box shape okay, that comes. Then which project uh, product has been shipped. See, easily it is displayed. Suppose I want another chart, then I'll click on the plane area. Uh, then if we want to know uh, sales, I'll go for line chart. Line chart appears. So what are, who is the sale person who has done the sales or I mean the total number of amount versus sale person, you can easily view on this. So this is how you are going to uh, prepare a dashboard. Few more things you can add to that. You will see uh, those things, how it can be added. It is just a basics that we have started, how to do it. The panels, everything, uh, whatever I have discussed, it is here. So surely we will meet you in the next video and we will discuss how to do that. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe. Thank you.